Hey friends, welcome to a new video of Microsoft Office Tutorials. Friends, in this video we are going to discuss in detail and with the examples how we can group our data in Pivot Table. Friends, if you are new to our channel and still have not been subscribed to our channel, please subscribe our channel and press bell icon button so that you can get latest updates and tutorials from our channel. So friends, we come back to our topic. Here we have some data that we will use in this video. This is sales report from January 2010 to December 2017. And this sales report has some fields that is serial number, transaction number, date, sales region, and sales revenue. So as we need to insert pivot table, we will go to insert tab, then do pivot table, and then we will select data that we need to include in this pivot table. And then we will go for OK. Now you can see we got here another new sheet. In this new sheet, we have pivot table fields window here in which we have five fields that are same as we have in our original data source. So what we will do, we will just drop this sales revenue field in values section and date field in rows section. And now you can see we got here a detailed pivot table in which there are all dates and relevant sales revenue on those dates. So friends here, if we want to group this data based on years, if we want to know how much we have total sales revenue in year 2010, how much we have total sales revenue in year 2011 and so on up to year 2017, how we can group this data into years. So friends, first of all, you need to know on, uh, to uh, which field you want to group. For example, here we want to group this date field. We want to make grouping based on this field. So we will bring our selection on this field and then we will go to analyze tab. Then we will go to group selection. Now here in this uh, window, you can see we have some uh, fields as we want to group our data based on years. We will just select years and we'll unselect months and we will go to OK. Now you can see our data has been grouped into years. This is total sales revenue in year 2010, total sales revenue in year 2011 and so on. So next, if we want to group our data based on uh, months, how we can group uh, based on months. Same procedure, we will go again to analyze tab then to group selection. And now we will uh, select months and we'll unselect years and we'll go for OK. Now you can see our data has been grouped based on months. But here one thing, this January includes January from year 2010 to January year 2017 means this January includes January 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 means this is total sales revenue in just January. This is total sales revenue, revenue in February from year 2010 to year 2017 and so on. Now friends, we can group our data based on two fields at same time. For example, if we, we also want to include here years with months, we can do, uh, we can do this. But uh, for example, if we want to know how much we have total sales revenue in year 2010, we need to include both fields, years and months. So uh, now we try to include here years also. We will go to group selection and we'll also select years and OK. Now you can see our data has been grouped based on two fields. This is based on years and this is based on month. Uh, this is January 2010, January, uh, February 2010 and so on. This is based on year 2011. This is total and this is January 2011, February 2011 and so on. You can see this. So friends, here you can see if we come here in pivot table uh, fields window, you can see here we got here one more field years. Before when we started pivot table, we uh, did not have this field. So we now we can also use this field same as we can uh, we have used other fields. For example, if you want to uh, uh, drop it in columns section, we can do this. You can see. If I drop it here, our, our pivot table has been changed. Friends, in addition to this grouping based on years and months, there are also some other ways that we can also use to group our data. So let me uh, just drop this back years field. And uh, now we again go to group selection and uh, unselect years, months. We select this quarter and go for OK. Now you can see our data has been grouped by quarters. This is total data from year 2010 to year 2017 has been uh, divided or has been grouped into quarters. So uh, we can also use at same time, we can also use three fields. Now we go to analyze tab and then to group selection and we will select months, years and OK. Now you can see our data or pivot table has been grouped into years. This is year into quarters, first quarter, second quarter, second quarter and uh, third quarter, fourth quarter and based on months also. So means now at this time we are using three fields to base uh, to sorry. We are using three fields to group our data. So friends, this was only uh, for dates. But what if we also have hours and months also? We can also group our data based on hours. 
so here i have another sheet this is same as we have here that we have already been used in uh, this pivot table so now we will use this and we will we will try to group our data based from ours so we will uh, speedily we will insert pivot table and now you can see we got another new sheet and we will just drop here a sales revenue here in values section and date and time in a rows section so friends here we got a pivot table now what we want to do we want to group over this data based on hours or in the if we say indirectly we want to know how much we have total sales at 9 o'clock how much we have total sales at 10 o'clock 12 13 14 o'clock and so on so what we will do we will bring our selection on this field date field as we want to group our data based on this date and time field so we will go to analyze tab then to a uh, group selection and then from this window we will unselect any other feed we will select ours because we want to group our data based on ours then we will go for ok now you can see our data has been grouped based on ours now from this result or from this pivot table we can easily locate at which hour we have maximum sales or at which hour we have maximum work so here is quick tip to find out at which hour we have maximum sales you can uh, just use max function and then now you can see we have this is maximum sale and we can select this conditional formatting duplicate value so here at nine o'clock we have maximum sales so friends if you like this video please don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends please also don't forget to comment and give thumbs up and also at last please don't forget to subscribe our channel okay friends for now bye bye